this section is about fu different functions, but we're going to ma mainly focus on absolute value functions, but we're going to learn key vocab as far as parent functions, what are translations, vertical stretches, and vertical shrinks, as well as reflections. So if you understand what reflections are, shrinks, stretches, translations, then you can graph parabolas, absolute values, polynomials, and quadratics. So a parent function is just your most basic function. So a parent function that we're going to work with today is y equals the absolute value of x. It has a y-intercept of 0, it has a slope of 1, it opens up, but there are also different parent functions. You could have a parent function that's a quadratic or a parabola. You could have a parent function that's a line. You could have a parent function that's a cubic. You can have a parent function that's a square root. A translation is a shift. So it's moving the graph up, it's moving it down, it's moving it left, it's moving it right. A vertical stretch is if you're stretched out vertically, it's going up faster than it's going left to right. So this is a vertical stretch of this parent function. Another example of a vertical stretch would be if you have a parabola that's very narrow. That's a vertical stretch. A vertical shrink is it's not growing as much in the vertical direction. So this is a vertical shrink. And a reflection is if you start out with your parent function like this, a reflection looks like this. It's flipped upside down. So if this is your line of symmetry, then this is the reflection over the x-axis. So let's go up here and look at these charts. So if you are shifting, if your parent function is y equals the absolute value of x, and you're going up, this number is going to be positive. If it's shifting down, it's going to be negative. Now, right and left is a little bit different than you'd think it would be, because right, you're actually, it's going to be x minus h. And then left is going to be positive. So this is the key right here, that if you have something that shifted right h and up k, it's going to look like this. So I'll do an example here. If you had x plus 3 minus 4, that means that this absolute value parent function, so this, starting at the origin, is being shifted left 3 and then down 4. So when you're talking about vertical stretches, shrinks, and reflections, if you have a negative in front of the absolute value, then that means that it's going to open down. It's going to be reflection across the x-axis. If the number in front of your absolute value, this a, if this a is between 0 and 1, it's actually going to be a vertical shrink. So it's going to be wide. So for example, if you had y equals 1 half absolute value of x, this is, it, the parent function looks like this, y equals x, but this time you're not, it's going to be wider. y equals 1 half x is wider. So if this number is between 0 and 1, it's going to open up wide. If the number is greater than 1, so if you have the absolute value of 3, or absolute value of um, 3, 3 times absolute value of x, then it's going to be narrow. So it's going to be a vertical stretch. So this is a stretch, and this is a shrink. 
So now we're going to graph each. Graph each function and the parent function. So the parent function, this is absolute value, is going to be y equals absolute value of x. So that starts at the origin, and the slope is 1. Should have been neater. Okay, so that's our parent function. Now, if we're graphing, let's talk about what's going on right here when we're graphing this function. So this function is going to be shifted right 3, up 5, and this is going to be stretching out by a factor of a slope of 2. So instead of right here, I went up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Now I'm going to go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. So first let's shift it right 3, up 5. So right 3, up 5, make a dot. And there, I'm not reflecting it over the x-axis. It's still opening up because this is positive. But now I'm going to go up 2, up 2, like this. So there's my graph. The second one, I'm going to go ahead and graph my parent function. It's not the most accurate. It's really not. But um, So let's look at what I'm doing right here. So this means I'm shifting it left 1 in this negative. Pretend it's a negative 1. It's opening down. And the slope is, it's opening down because it's reflected over the x-axis. The slope is negative 1. So it's still going to open up the same way as far as the width. It's not a vertical stretch. It's not a vertical strength, str um, shrink. It's just opening down. So I'm going to go left 1. There's my vertex. And same slope. And the next one, opening up. Now, there's nothing going on moving right or left, but it is shifting up 6. And this right here is a vertical shrink. So the slope is 1 half. So I start up 6. And I go up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, up 1, left 2, up 1, left 2. And it's just a wider V. And then this last one, parent function, like this. Then let's look up right here. We're going right 2. And we're moving down 3. This number is greater than 1. It's a vertical stretch. And the slope is 4. So it's, you're going to go up 4, right 1. So first I'm going to go right 2, down 3. Then I'm going to go up 4, right 1. Up 4, left 1. Up 4, right 1. So it looks like this.